Hello everyone, I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today, I'll share with you how I sometimes need to get Samba or window shares working on my local network. Whether this fix is applicable to you depends on your Linux distro. You'll find some distros have Samba shares working out of the box, whilst others will require this fix. Moving forward, however, with newer versions of Samba in Linux, this fix will be required more often particularly if you need to support legacy hardware or software. I'll explain why this is the case a little later. In my network setup, I typically have a USB hard disk drive connected to the USB port on my router, just for easy and simple file sharing between machines. Now, before anyone starts going on about security and data safety, I am well aware that a typical router may have vulnerabilities, especially if your manufacturer has stopped providing security updates. I stress that I don't have any particularly personal or critical data on this USB drive. Mostly it's just random files, images, podcasts, or whatever I've downloaded and don't care if they're compromised. If I now draw your attention to a recent release of Samba, specifically version 4.11, what we find here in the change log is that the legacy SMB1 protocol has finally been disabled by default. Now, SMB1 dates all the way back to the 1980s and, in fact, the Windows 3.1 days. Not having SMB enabled by default is generally a good thing since SMB1 is both inefficient and insecure. I would stress to you that most people shouldn't really still be using SMB1 to share files for these reasons. However, there are still many hardware manufacturers that bake SMB1 into their file sharing functionality such as in my use case of having a USB drive connected to my router. I've searched and there appears to be no way of upgrading this functionality in my router. I've also come across some Linux distros that require enabling SMB1 in order for sharing files between different environments to work. If this is the situation you find yourself in, you may find that trying to connect to such a share results in an error of some sort. To demonstrate, I'm on Ubuntu 20.04 that's freshly installed and updated but this fix should work on most other distros in exactly the same way. If I am to open File Manager, which of course in GNOME is Nautilus, and try to connect to my USB drive on the router, you'll find you'll get an error message. To fix this, there are a few steps that you'll need to take. First, we'll need to open up a terminal. And then we need to ensure that Samba is installed in your distro. So in Ubuntu and Debian based distros, first you'll need to do an update of your repos, sudo apt update. Then we go ahead and install Samba. So sudo apt install Samba. Enter for yes. Now that that's installed, we need to edit a file called smb.conf and we'll find that in our etsy slash samba directory. So let's cd into that. Before I go and edit any configuration file, I usually make a backup copy of it just to be safe. So I will do a sudo copy smb.conf smb and I'll just call it dot backup. Next we open up our text editor, sudo nano smb.conf and we scroll down to the section that says global and just underneath global we add a line that says client min protocol space equals space nt1. We save the file, control O and exit. Next what we need to do is either restart your system or a shortcut is to just restart the SMB service. So we sudo systemctl restart SMB D tab completion and there we are. If I now go back to my file manager, 
and try to access this folder again, there you have it. We can actually access it. I'll put in my password. Connect. That's my USB drive folders on my router. So what we've done here is re-enabled an old protocol of Samba. I would just like to reiterate again that because of the inherent issues of inefficiency and some security problems, you really shouldn't apply this fix unless you have a reason to do so. That is, only if you're having errors when accessing Samba shares either on your router or on another computer. Also, it's probably advisable that you don't share anything that's private or critical in this manner. Thank you all so very much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them down below for me. Be safe and be well everyone. Bye bye for now.